The Mbom Armored Personnel Carrier was created by South Africa's Paramount Group as a private endeavor. The company possesses substantial expertise in developing and manufacturing various mine-resistant vehicles. The newly designed vehicle pays homage to a legendary African warrior and was initially unveiled in 2010. There are sources that suggest production began in the same year, with the vehicle reportedly in use by the South African National Defense Forces. Additionally, it is being considered for export to other nations. In 2014, Jordan placed an order for 50 of these armored vehicles, and some of them were deployed in Libya. Kazakhstan also procured a batch of these armored vehicles, referred to locally as berries, with plans for local assembly. Jordan also obtained a number of these armored vehicles, known in their region as al -Fares. This armored vehicle is versatile and suited for a wide range of military operations, including conventional warfare, peacekeeping, and counterinsurgency. While officially classified as an infantry fighting vehicle IFV, it more accurately functions as a well-equipped armored personnel carrier APC, or a mine-resistant ambush protected vehicle MRAP. The bomb, however, is susceptible to automatic cannons, which most modern IFVs are designed to withstand. The baseline version of this armored vehicle offers protection against 7.62mm armor-piercing rounds from all angles. Additional modular armor can be added for protection against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. The bomb is claimed to also provide defense against RPG-7 and anti-tank rockets. The vehicle boasts enhanced protection against landmines and improvised explosive device IED, blasts, comparable to that of MRAP vehicles. Despite lacking the typical V-shaped hull, the innovative flat bottom hull design reduces the vehicle's height compared to traditional MRAPs, resulting in a lower profile target. The bomb demonstrates remarkable mine survivability, enduring a 10 kg TNT blast under any wheel or the hull. Some sources even suggest the vehicle can withstand explosions equivalent to 14 kg of TNT under any wheel. Developers assert that the crew and troops could survive a roadside IED blast equivalent to 50 kg of TNT at a distance of 5 meters. The bomb provides superior protection against landmines and IEDs compared to many of the vehicles currently used by NATO forces. The initial model of the vehicle is outfitted with a turret armed with a Russian 30mm dual-fed cannon and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, the same cannon used on the BMP-2 IFV and other Russian armored vehicles. Various other manned or remotely controlled turrets can be installed as well. The armored vehicle accommodates a crew of three and up to eight troops, who access and exit the vehicle via the rear ramp. In emergencies, occupants can also exit through roof hatches primarily intended for observation and launching anti-aircraft missiles. Powering the bomb is an unspecified turbocharged diesel engine generating 450 horsepower, coupled with a six-speed automatic transmission. Commercial automotive components are employed where possible to minimize production and operational costs. The vehicle features a standard central tire inflation system and offers commendable cross-country performance due to its independent suspension and three axles. The bomb is capable of carrying substantial loads without compromising mobility and can be equipped with an additional fuel tank to extend its operational range. It can operate in temperatures up to plus 55 degrees Celsius. Proposed versions of the bomb include an armored personnel carrier, wheeled infantry fighting vehicle, anti-tank missile carrier, mortar carrier, ambulance, and command post vehicle. Variants, the berries represents the Kazakh iteration of the bomb. Kazakhstan ordered a quantity of these armored vehicles, with initial production commencing locally in 2015, and mass production starting in 2021 through Kazakhstan Paramount Engineering. Azerbaijan has also expressed interest in obtaining the berries armored vehicles. The Alfair stands as the Jordanian version of the bomb. In 2016, it was announced that Paramount Group and Jordan Manufacturing Services Solutions had entered into a contract for the production and assembly of the bomb in Jordan. The agreement stipulated the delivery of 50 vehicles in total, 
25 from South Africa and 25 to be built in Jordan. It is reported that all contracted vehicles were successfully delivered. The Jordanian Alfares variant showcases a few external differences and some of these Jordanian vehicles were deployed to Libya and saw combat action.